Hey guys, it's Scott again. Another quick how-to video. Uh, real quick, I'm going to show you how to install new shelves in your closet. I just built this closet and um, I've already got one done. This is what I want it to look like for you to hang your clothes on or whatever. I've got a, a lot of brackets because I want to make sure this thing ain't going anywhere. And then I'm going to put one up here higher. I'm going to put one probably over here and there's we all have some room in here for a dresser because it's like a walk-in closet. So, real quick, show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm now out here in my shop and I'm going to cut this. Because you can only buy them in certain lengths at the store. And so if you want, if you already know your lengths that you need, the store may cut them for you for free. I'm going to do it here. I happen to have some cutters, like bolt cutters, or you could maybe use some type of a, a saw. But this is very strong metal, so it's not the easiest thing to cut through. So I've, as you see, I already made my marks that I'm going to use. So I just got my cutters on here, and I'm going to just squeeze it. I'm trying to do this with one hand. And I'm just going to keep going down. Okay, so I got it cut down to the size that I need. I will take it back in the house. Yeah, that steel is very hard to cut. But anyway, so we see it from floor to here, I measured 40 inches. And I did the same from here up higher. It's going to be 40 inches because I want two shells. One for clothes here, shirts here, and one for shirts and stuff here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put these... Uh, little things in along the back wall so I measured from here up 40 inches I put some pencil marks and I'm a few across and now I'm going to use my level to make sure it's even all the way across okay so you want your little bubble level right there all the way across the wall and where I made my little 40 inch marks well this is hard with one hand I'm going to start making my little line so I'm going to put a line right there there there, there, all the way across, about six of them. So if you can see, I got my little pencil marks. I have a quarter inch drill bit, and I'm simply going to mark right at that line, just below that line, all at all of them, and go straight in. And I'm just going to go all the way across and do the same thing. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Okay, so this is what I'm going to put um, in these holes I just drilled. These are um, drywall clip anchors for this shelf. And you're just going to go up here, take it, and you kind of just push it right in. Okay, and then and you have a little nail that they come with. Sometimes you can use screws, which is even better. And you're simply just going to tap that in. Nice and tight and I'm gonna go across and do them all and they should come out even if I measure correctly so I'm just going along here and I'm just pushing these in and then we're gonna put those nails in each each one of them okay so before I nail them all in I'm gonna make sure I got this even just setting it right on there Look at that, perfect, all the way across. Now I'm going to finish putting the nails in them. Next, I'm going to bring it up here and just kind of get it a little even. And then I'm going to push this and snap them down into all these, these little clips. I'm just going across and pushing these in. See how they clip in? Okay, so I'm just temporarily holding that up there with that level right now. These are the parts that are going to go on next, these sidewall brackets. Now you see what I did now is I put a level going this way instead of the other way. 
because now it's time to get this shelf just right. So you see the bubble there? We want that right in the middle. Right about perfect, right there. And then we're going to take this piece and put it over there on the sidewall and mark where we want it. So you see it's level there. I got that there and I'll mark these two holes with a pencil. So still using my quarter inch drill bit. I see I got the mark here and here and that's what I'm going to do with one hand here. And this one. So you see I got it up there. I just push these things and I tap them into the holes that I just drilled. And then we're going to take a nail and put that in each one to secure it better. Okay, so that's in. Got yeah, perfect. That sits in there. Now we got to do the other side because that needs uh, something there too. So same thing on the other side. I got it level. Got my thing there. I marked the pencil holes there so that I can drill and put this side in. Remember, these anchors go through this into the wall. Okay. Now, when we nail them, put the nails or screws is even better. Okay, so let's see how this fits down. Look at that. Perfectly level. So we got that one up. We got that one. Now, we got to put a couple of supports. Now, this is what I mean by these support brackets, because you definitely don't want this thing falling down if it gets too much weight on it, even as secure as it is. The way these work, see that little hook goes right through there, like that. Wait a minute. Sorry about that, I had to get up here to do that. So it goes like that, and then it kind of pushes against the wall. And what you're going to do is mark a hole right here and you're going to anchor that to the wall and that's going to support it. Now it's up to you how many of these you want to put across. With something like this you could just do two or up to four. Okay, so I marked my hole for that. And now I'm going to drill my hole right here. This I put my anchor right into the wall. On that one I drilled right into the wood so I just took the anchor out put the screw right into the wood so I'm gonna go and put two more down now so I'll put another anchor in again you just take it up here right like that even it up with that hole put my screw in and tighten it down I'm screwing it down see nice and tight all right that one's done Look how quick and easy that was. All my tools there. Of course, it's going to have clothes on it. But how much would somebody have charged you to come and do that? Who knows how much I just saved. I try everything once. And if I can do it, just like anything else, you can do it and so can your dog. It's just everything is so easy and people are afraid to try. Now I'm probably going to do something up here and make a corner, a small one up there too. All right, guys, just showing you how easy that was. Take care. And remember, don't worry about these things. These are going to be hidden by clothes and stuff, but that's up to you how many you want. If you can get into wood, that's even better.